number one Iron Age booty daddy. With all of the big things happening today, such as April O'Neil long, no longer being a white redhead, and my brother over there at Iron Age Media dropping the announcement for his new Iron Age Media magazine called Anvil, and getting submissions for that, it was really hard to figure out what to cover today, but then I saw something that kind of spoke to me, and something that mm, touched a nerve because, well... I've been worried about it. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, as of the recording of this video, I have about 1,930 subscribers on the channel. I am tiny, right? The channel is very, very small. And YouTube always seems to be changing the game and making new things happen. And when you come in late to the game, like I did to the YouTube space and add my voice to it, I've seen a lot of creators go through a lot of problems. The problem we're gonna talk about today is the DM MCA. How Elon Musk over at Twitter came out and decided to go after the DMCA, not necessarily DMCA, but the people who are weaponizing it. And that is a critical point here that really, really just struck a chord with me. So let's go over to the twits real quick. All right, over in the twit twats, we've got Elon Musk here and you can see I retweeted it. And I said, is he getting is he getting ready to make Twitter the new YouTube? Now, that's an important question in the creator space because it yet adds another dynamic to what creators are going to have to do in the future. And as somebody who is trying to grow this and make this something that I can call my job one day, that'd be really cool. Maybe it won't happen. Maybe it will. We'll see. Paying attention to things like this are really important. So Elon Musk tweets, accounts engaging in repeated egregious weaponization of DMCA on Twitter or encouraging the weaponization of DMCA will receive temporary suspension. That said, reasonable media takedown requests are, of course, appropriate and will always be supported. Now, reasonable media takedown requests. Let's get into that. What is a reasonable media takedown request? Well, one would say that there's probably going to be a process and a Twitter definition linked to that, right? Because it really depends. Because the internet, once you start getting into all the factors for a reasonable media takedown request, that starts getting tricky, especially with some of the legal stuff. However, I would imagine that he's working to build laws and rules. And I think that this tweet, specifically this tweet here for the DMCA stuff, was a shot over the bow and a call out to a lot of the YouTube creators out there saying, hey, we're getting ready, just so you know. Get your content ready because something's happening. I think that's what's going on here. And me, I'm not really an Elon fanboy at all, nor am I really an Elon fan. I generally don't trust people who have taken like metric crap tons of money from the federal government, which is my tax dollars to fund projects that I'm going to be honest, I don't really care about. So I have my own issues with Elon Musk as well as some other things that I've heard uh, business wise with him. But this is something that if he is attacking the right things, if he's going after the right things, I think he is going to probably make his own Twitter version of YouTube. I don't think he would convert the entire Twitter app into a YouTube style app, but I think he might make his own like Twitter video or Twitter tube, right? A uh, twit tube. I don't know. <laughs> T tube. I don't know. Call it what you want. But I wanted to cover this tonight because it's something as a small creator and somebody who adding my voice into the mix and honestly just having fun with my audience. This, this could change the game. Not necessarily that there aren't other platforms out there already going after the YouTube creators, the YouTube space, and so on. Obviously, Odyssey and Rumble are out there doing their thing, and Odyssey and Rumble are both doing good things. I do have issues. They still have growing pains they have to get through, and they are still incredibly small. But Twitter, Twitter could potentially have the poll and the draw because most people who are on YouTube are over on Twitter. At least, don't quote me on that. I don't know the actual statistics. But this could be something as a shout out to all the creators out there saying, hey, 
you're not going to have to worry about DMCA bogus stuff over here because there was a lot of that. There is a lot of striking from major corporations that happens to channels if a major corporation doesn't like what the channel is doing. So they pull the DMCA thing. Now, if you go to Google search and you want to know the short definition, it's essentially an act that was passed back in it's the what the digital millennia creator act i can't remember but anyway it was passed in 1998 and the idea here behind the dmca was to essentially do something that was small in scope so it didn't cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for people to go litigate out 500 dollars worth of you know yeah uh, worth of copied stuff on the internet the D that's and that's really what the intention was I don't think it's working out that well and I think it needs to probably radically be altered because it has turned into a weaponization and especially when you get companies like YouTube who will absolutely nuke channels over the DMCA claims and will absolutely go after them like that when the people weaponizing it are major corporations who are simply either being memed on or commented on that is something that I think all creators need to pay attention to, and we need to see exactly how all of this is going to play out. Now, as I said earlier, I don't exactly think that Elon Musk is the best guy on the planet, and I highly doubt he's this free speech dude like he seems to be claiming to be lately. Although there has been more speech allowed on Twitter lately, I feel that that I feel that that has an expiration date. I also feel that this new Elon that we've been seeing has an expiration date. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he gets better. Maybe the guy goes, you know, maybe the guy you know, goes more towards what I believe and just says, screw it all. I want no, no rules, no government, as small as possible. Maybe he goes that route. I doubt it. But what do you guys think about this DMCA thing? And what do you think that that would bring to Twitter, especially for the creators who are having a heck of a time with YouTube and had had a heck of a time with YouTube for many years? I think ultimately what we're staring at here is the beginnings of the creator war, as I will call it, between Twitter and YouTube. If Elon Musk is th throwing things out there like this, he must be getting close to something he must be dropping hints about something and i only say that because he's just kind of how he rolls he just kind of says some stuff and then you just kind of you know look down the road and go oh that's where he kicked the can to right it's it's i mean it's not it don't you know don't take a rocket surgeon to figure that out ladies and gentlemen but this could be something critically important for small creators for large creators and for creators as a whole a platform where they don't have to worry about the dmca takedowns a platform where the audience already is right? That seems to be the big thing that Odyssey and Rumble are absolutely struggling with. The audience isn't there. Although you may agree with, you may agree with what Odyssey and Rumble are doing, especially in the free speech space. They just don't have an audience over there. So with Elon coming out here, is he simply dropping a breadcrumb right now saying that he's getting ready to launch this new Twitter video platform? Or am I totally off base and you guys are just going to come down in the comments and tell me that I suck? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. I do appreciate it. And I appreciate all of the support. Like I said, 1,930 subscribers and counting. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers. And if you guys like the way that I present videos, go ahead and subscribe for me. And hit that like button while you're down there as well. Oh, and by the way, the most important thing I want you to do, whether you subscribe or like or not, make sure to comment down below because I dedicate a special live stream every Sunday where I go in and I read the comments of my past week's videos. That's right. If you comment, I dedicate time to you on Sundays and make sure that I read your comments. So that way, if you guys want to say something to me, you know that I am in fact responding to it and you guys can check that live stream out every sunday at 11 a.m central it's called sunday coffee so make sure you got your coffee there and until next time cheers everybody thank you all so much for checking out this video and i want to give a special shout out to all of my supporters on my gilded and my locals that's right if you guys would like your chance at joining the supporter live streams on wednesdays every wednesday i would ask beg borrow and steal just to get you to sign up over on gilded and locals so you guys can check out those links down in the description below and thank you all so much for being here see you next time